If you have a Dodge Durango RT from 2011 and up, you can make some power with these too. They're no different than the Chargers or the Challengers. Doesn't matter. American Racing Long Tube Headers. A 340 LPH fuel pump. ID 1050X injectors. ATI Super Damper. Texas Speed MDS Delete Kit. Comp Cam Stage 3 Cam. Now, I talked about it time and time again as far as boost. These. Now, as far as making 600 horsepower, you're going to need some power adders. We're talking 600 to 620 at the crank. Um, You start to look at power adders like um, you can do a Hellcat supercharger adapter kit. That you put a Hellcat supercharger on top of your 5.7. You can do a pro charger like everybody else. Give it about 8 to 15 pounds of boost because these things will handle boost as long as you got the piston rings now You could do a whipple like everybody else, but these whipples and superchargers in general are getting out of hand so Best option if you're on a budget and know somebody that can build a turbo kit go with a nice 62 to 68 millimeter turbo no bigger than 68 No bigger go good God so yeah um, make a turbo kit, you probably come out of um thirty five hundred to four thousand dollars, depending on who you go to, versus these um already made um aftermarket turbo kits that be like eight to ten thousand dollars, which I find ridiculous. It's crazy. Superchargers are reaching ten thousand dollar range. So yeah, do you have multiple options now? If you're aiming for bigger horsepower, we're talking seven to nine hundred horsepower. You're gonna start looking to um, a higher gear ratio, and then you're gonna look also look into getting your transmission built because these transmissions really can't handle a lot of power in their stock form. If you're talking about racing these things, yeah, get them. Built. If you're talking about just everyday driving, hell, just gap the piston rings, get bigger injectors, a good tone, and throw some boost at it. We're talking 10 pounds, and you could have just as much fun. And come to think of it, you're going to want to snatch up one of these Dodge Durango RTs of any year anyway, because in 2023, they're going to officially stop making Hemi's. There won't be a Hemi in sight after 2023. So after everybody buys up all the Hellcat Durangos and all the SRT 6.4 Durangos, guess which one they're going to start buying up next and it's going to be hard to find. Yes, the Durango RT. So you definitely need to make it your business to go and collect one of these things because they're probably going to be worth a fortune when people start looking for them and then suddenly want to buy yours. So you can find one for like uh, twenty to $30,000 easy.